Three study hacks that I use to get honors in medical school. But before we get to this video, I want you to know that you are greatly, greatly loved and that you are wonderfully and beautifully created and that you are capable of far more than you could ever imagine. Let's get to it. All right, so three things. Number one would be spaced repetition. Put simply, this is all of your study material. You are going to learn it and study it in spaced intervals. The way I would do it is a six pass system. It sounds like a lot, it is a lot, but it's gonna help you memorize a vast amount of information. So this is how I break mine down. Before you lecture, the day before the lecture, I would pre-read, so that's pass number one. The second pass would be during class. The third pass would be after class. So those three passes are in the first 24 hours. Your first pass should just be getting the big picture. Your second pass is in class, not on your cell phone, not texting your friends, not on TikTok, unless you're watching my videos. Um, just paying attention. And your third pass is where you're really trying to get this information down. Three passes, 24 hours. That fourth pass should come 48 to 72 hours after the first three. The fifth pass should be somewhere around 96 hours-ish or a little bit later. Okay, and then I would always throw in one more pass and that's on the weekend. So six passes in seven days. And that's gonna help you memorize a very, very large amount of information which you need to do in medical school. And now to make this work, you have to have a very strict schedule and I could talk about that in a different video. Study hack number Number two, this would be active recall. You're gonna utilize spaced repetition, but now you're gonna be utilizing active recall with every single one of those passes in your spaced repetition. Active recall is just simply not rereading your notes. So anybody can open up, uh, open up a book and read it. Anybody can open up their notes and read it. But instead, what you're gonna do is keep your notes closed and try to recall as much information as you possibly can. And then after about three to four minutes of not being able to recall anything else, then you can open up your notes and read them or see what you missed, take notes on what you missed, and make connections or stories in your brain to be able to remember all of those things that you missed. Now this is gonna be hard. This makes your brain hurt because you're actively learning. You're actively memorizing this information. You're actively conceptualizing this information. So it's hard, but it's gonna pay dividends on your exam. So we talked about spatial repetition. We talked about active recall. Now number three is a secret weapon. When number one fails you, when number two fails you, number three comes and saves the day, and that is Sketchy Medical. Sketchy Medical is an incredible resource that uses storytelling method of memorization to help you memorize very hard um, topics in medicine. And they have content from the MCAT all the way through medical school, through step one and step two, to help you all throughout your medical journey. This is something that I. I used a ton, ton, but to be honest, I'm a pretty good memorizer, so I would really use this on topics that I really had a tough time um, memorizing or getting kind of the gist of it. But my wife, she used this absolutely religiously for every single topic. And for us, Sketchy Micro absolutely saved the day and helped us get through medical school and do well and earn honors. For this video, we'll combine two separate species of the strep genus, strep pneumoniae and the viridin streptococcal species. This illustration is titled the Alpha Knight Tournament and takes place at a medieval jousting tournament. So we'll start by drawing the jousting arena. It's called the Alpha Knight Tournament because both of these species are alpha hemolytic. Remember, both group A and group B strep are beta hemolytic, so this is one of the first distinguishing features. Alpha means it's a partial hemolysis, in which the surrounding zone of hemolysis has a green hue. This green comes from the oxidation of hemoglobin. We've made the alpha on the sign green to help with that association. First, we'll draw our defending champ, the strep pneumo knight. He's somewhat of a badass. He's defeated all other knights, so he's known as the number one knight. Or strep pneumo is numero uno, if you will. Pneumo, numero uno. <laughs> See what we did there? Well, like any knight worth his salt, he's encapsulated in some pretty sweet armor. So strep pneumo is encapsulated. It's actually a polysaccharide capsule, which is its major virulence factor. Sir pneumo takes safety very seriously, so he also wears a helmet. So you see he's super secure and protected everywhere, everywhere except for one weakness, and that's his chin. His chin's the only part of his body that you see that's exposed, so his chin is sensitive. Use this to remember that strep pneumo is optochin sensitive. Optochin is a chemical that inhibits the growth of strep pneumo, and as you'll see, 
Sketchy Medical also recently ran a study, so of course there's a little bit of bias since they ran the study, but still had some pretty crazy results. So it was with medical students and they just asked them some questions. And so out of these questions, 90% um, of them agreed that they would score better with Sketchy than without Sketchy. 78% um, were able to recall information much quicker than those who did not use Sketchy. And then lastly, 93% of Sketchy users view it as a competitive edge and 94% say that it helps them to work and memorize much more efficiently. So we have we have a little bit of data that also shows that Sketchy is doing really well to help medical students. Something else that is crazy exciting is Sketchy Medical will be holding a huge sale, their biggest sale of the year, on Black Friday. All you have to do is use these discount codes right here, which will save you 20% on Black Friday on any of their MCAT prep stuff or their medical content. So make sure to check out Sketchy Medical and do not miss out on this deal. All right, guys, these are my three study hacks that help me to get honors in medical school. I hope it helps you. If you have any questions whatsoever, make sure to comment below. And if you found value in this video, if you could just give this video a thumbs up, it helps me a ton. And then always make sure to subscribe to my channel. So before I go, I want you to know that you are greatly, greatly loved and that you're wonderfully and beautifully created and that you are capable of far more than you could ever imagine. Wow.